Come on, Pops. Chicken salad is on. You want some bread or you just gonna get a spoonful? Come, come, you gotta come, you gotta come this come. way, honey. Come, come this way. Can so you can do, can, you can do chicken salad on bread, croissants, put it on a, the spinach wrap, a spinach wrap, lettuce. Um, my favorite way for him is on bread. So you want me to make you a sandwich? You taste it first, then you can make your sandwich. You gotta it's come in, come in, you gotta come in come the camera. camera and say hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, love is just, it's an absolute beautiful journey. And for this particular married couple, it has been a journey of five decades. That's right, that's right. As the world celebrates this day of love, this couple has taken to the internet. They've taken the internet by storm that's with right. their adorable TikTok videos, which have gone viral, amassing millions of views. We want to welcome Pastor Ronald and First Lady Linda Griffin to the show to talk about their timeless love. Ooh, welcome to Fox Souls Black Report. Thank you for Happy us. Valentine's so Day. Thank you. Don't you look pretty in all this red? You my we girl. And you smell good. <laughs> I do. And you smell good. you want good. to mention something about me? Um, <laughs> you're very handsome and dapper. <laughs> but this here. How do I smell? You know the deal. Okay. You smell fantastic. Thank you. I just <laughs> so, so, so tell us a little bit about, about your love story. Just the Cliff Notes version of, of your love story. How long have you been married? You know, and, uh, uh, you know, what do you want people to know the most about your love story? Oh. Well, be 52 years just coming August the 14th and I think if there's any singular thing that I want the people to understand is love comes from trust and respect if you don't have those two ingredients the love won't last and the next thing that I want people to know is I consider her a gift from God mm. and so I treat her just like that Wow he is my hero and what I mean by that is God gave him as a gift to me. And I treasure him just that way. Whatever he wants, I try my best to provide it. If it's a meal, not a problem. If he wants just to take a ride, I'm there to do that. Mm. If he wants just conversation, I say, let's go. Mm. If it's a boring night, I say, let's make a picnic in the bed with a blanket and a picnic sandwich. Bottom line is he's my one, and we keep it live for each other. Mm -hmm. 52 years, I, he's the air in my lungs. So we spend our time just making each other happy. And, and the most important thing in that context, I mean, a pastor, you got to have God in your life. You got mm -hmm. to pray got to. because we have some intense moments of fellowship. Mm -hmm. uh, that's our way of saying, you know, sometimes we don't agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then so, but our prayer life and love, is, love and respect we have for each other, years ago would be bumps in the road. Now it's just smooth sailing mm -hmm. because we worked our way through all of that. Mm -hmm. So we're each other's best friends. Okay, I should have bought some tissue. I, mean, I know, I can't take it. All right, speaking of, Pastor, you said um, bumps in the road. You know, I've been following y'all from your, from your moment, from your day one viral moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've tapped in and, and read a lot more about the story. Um, there was a time, maybe 20 years in, mm -hmm. when you were like, I'm done, I'm finished. That's I don't right. know if you actually filed or were about to file. No. Talk a little bit about that and how you overcame, because I think, especially with you being a viral couple, if you will, that's where okay. you're starting. People just see the highlights. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, then we all of a sudden see these marriages or, or these breakups and we're like, well, what the heck happened? Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. uh, you don't see the real deal. How did you overcome almost divorcing after 20 years into your marriage? Well, we had faithful family members. My sister, my dad, his uh, family, mm -hmm. and we were able to go and talk with him. Mm -hmm. I had gone to an attorney mm -hmm. and I had filed for the divorce. Mm -hmm. What were the grounds at that time? What were you, was it just a 20 year itch? Or? No, no, she no. She was tired of me. I was tired of him. That was the grounds. He had a very lackadaisical mm -hmm. attitude about bills and the responsibility of marriage, mm -hmm. of a man. And uh, I said, you know what? If I'm gonna do this, I can do it by myself. And um, 
I can pay my own bills, mm. and you could. and you're gonna take care of me, and you're going mm -hmm. to provide for the children. Mm -hmm. And I had gone to an attorney, and I had filed, and he was going to be served. And then one night, the Lord came into the room, in my bedroom. I had made my decisions. The attorney was getting ready to serve him the papers, and the Lord. I heard an audible voice, scared me to death. I had never heard of the voice of God before. And he told me to go and get him. Mm. And that put cancellation to my decision. Mm. Tell him where I was when you said go and get oh, him. Oh, he was in the basement. I had relegated him to the basement. Ah, you, put him, you didn't put him out, you just put him under. In the basement. <laughs> the basement was beautiful. It was under, the house. Under, the, <laughs> under the house. Under the house. Out of the bedroom. Ooh, but wait. the Lord told me to get him upstairs. And it scared me so when I went to the top of the stairs, <clears throat> I called him and I said, Ron, come up here, come up here. And he was scared. He was reluctant to come up. Well, let me just, not scared, like cowardly scared. Right. Mm -hmm. I thought that woman was crazy. So <laughs> I said, she had already put you under the right. house in the right. basement. So, no, I'm not rushing up these steps <laughs> just right now. Well, our thanks to Pastor mm -hmm. and First Lady Griffin for joining us here on Fox Souls Wack Report. Yes, Before. and happy Valentine's Day to you all. That's right. That's Love's right. in need of love today. We had, it was, it was kind of emotional. We for the, send our for the lady. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. And for all of you, remember to stay lifted. I'm Courtney Hicks. I'm the Cordelai Corte. <laughs> and we have the Griffins! <laughs> Bye, Happy Valentine's Day.